How many times have you used or had others use the phrase, I don't have time? I have been guilty of that myself. Not only have I said it to others and to myself, but I have projected that impression onto others as well. Some people have said to me, man, Robert, you are so busy. They've come to that conclusion based on assumptions, but it's not totally baseless. It must be that I have projected that impression. Hello, my name is Robert Mwando and thank you for watching Edify. In my previous video, life is too short, redeem time. I promised to debunk the notion that time is limited and therefore I don't have time. I have personally found out that the value I place on whatever I do determines how much time and effort I give to it. For instance, preparing and recording this video is of value to me, so I gave it time. Therefore, just stop this excuse of I don't have time. The wisest man that ever lived put it very well. He said, I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. So just cut me the slack. Stop saying, I don't have time. Whatever value you attach to something or someone, you make time for. Acknowledge this though, that what you really mean when you say, I don't have time, is this. You probably mean that you just haven't made time for that particular activity because you don't value it. Or, you have no clue how to make time. You don't want to make time for a particular activity, maybe because of other commitments, or simply you aren't willing to sacrifice any of your current priorities in order to make room for another. So often I hear people say, if only we had more time. This statement sounds to me like a regret for the bad use of time. I would expect that we would change how we do things the next one minute, the next one hour, the next 12 hours, or 24 hours, because God has equally endowed us with the same number of hours, irrespective of which time zone we live in. Yet, we often continue with the very habits that wasted time yesterday. Plain simple. The way we spend time is a reflection of our priorities. If something is important to you, somehow you will find a way to fit it into your schedule. So reflect on your schedule today. That's if you have developed the habit of drawing one. And if you don't have one, here is a good start. Just make a reconciliation of activities you have engaged in today by listing them down. Now you have some kind of framework. Look through and see what activities took most of your time. Were they worth all that time? If they weren't worth the time, drop them and replace them with what's worth. Allocate more time to activities on your list that have more worth. See, you just started a crash course on work scheduling, priority setting, and making time. This, this video was basically meant to get you uncomfortable, get you thinking, get you started. In my next two videos, I will help you to develop a mindset that places more value on how you use your time and more practical tips and principles on time management. Look out for the next sequential episodes like you have time, time wasters, time is money, and most importantly, how to manage time. Thank you for watching. 
see you. I was about to say see you again and I remembered you will be seeing me but I won't be seeing you. So to keep the conversation going, drop me a line in the comment section and I'll be glad to see you as I read and respond to your comments. Ciao.